Welcome to Cinema Shorthand. I hope you're all doing well. Today we'll be looking at episode 3, season 1, from the show Squid Game. The detective follows the pink guy Colt to a boat and boards the ship. When they park, the detective sneaks inside a van and plays pretend. A pink guy tries to scan his neck with some kind of biometric scanner, but is attacked by the man. He manages to subdue the pink guy. And when I say subdue, I mean definitely kill. He dons the fall guy costume and joins the ranks. As he is dumping the body, a square-faced pinko approaches him. The detective apologizes, but is quickly reminded of the rules to Fight Club. Don't speak to a superior unless you're spoken to. He's able to retain his cover and makes it to the island. The contestants are wheeled into a large room where the fall guys play dress up with their bodies. The pickpocket is still awake and manages to smuggle a knife in. The musketeers reunite and decide to form an alliance. Pickpocket and the face tattoo are sharing kind words when player 212 interrupts them. She'd like to join face tattoo's group and says she's good at everything except the things she can't do. Face tattoo makes the international sign language for love before lunchtime. The pickpocket is distracted by a vent above. We meet the phantom of the opera, operating the games. During lunch, Jihan tries to reminisce about the school days, but Sangwoo tells him to focus on the games. The old man deduces that they might be playing another child's game. The interloper heads back to his room. He gets a weird look from his neighbor. Inside, there are three rules posted. Always wear your mask, don't speak without permission, and don't leave the room without permission. Cameras are always watching them. Player 212 is begging to use the bathroom. She can't control her bladder. The pickpocket tags along. Inside a stall, player 212 removes a care package from her prison pocket, her other prison pocket. Pickpocket opens the door on her and wants to get in the vent. She uses 212 as a step stool. 212 fans constipation. Pickpocket sees the pink dudes cooking up treats. The guard gets impatient and walks in on the woman pooping. On the girl's way back, Sangwoo overhears them talking about what the pickpocket saw. The next morning, detective is suiting up for another hard day's work. His neighbor is checking him out again. During breakfast, the second game is announced to start soon. A man with glasses finds a cryptic message in his bread. The contestants are led through a stairwell designed by MC Escher if he was a Teletubby. Sangwoo gets information from the pickpocket. They enter the next game area, an oversized playground. There are four shapes on the wall, a circle, star, square, and umbrella. Sangwoo has a brain blast and figures out the game. We find out he's only in it for himself and doesn't share his epiphany with his team. Sangwoo instead says they should pick different shapes. Sangwoo picks triangle, Ali picks circle, Jihan picks umbrella, and old man picks star. A door opens, and players are given tins with a honeycomb candy and a needle inside. The game is to free the shapes chosen out of the center of the candy without breaking it before the timer runs out. They have 10 minutes. Jihan has a moment of crisis because he picked very wrong. The first contestant fails and dies, somehow triggering a chain reaction of candy breakage and death. Player 212 heats her needles up like she's been doing it her whole life, and melts the star out of her candy. The man who got the secret hint carves a ship successfully. Pickpocket also finishes, and so does Ollie. The detective is scanned by a manager face pink guy and scolded for not knowing what his job is. Jihan is beginning to panic, and as the clock ticks down, his sweat drips on the candy and he gets a bright idea. He begins licking the candy like it was your mother's cooter buying a Wendy's on a Tuesday night. Everyone subscribes to Jihan's masterclass on Conolingus, even the old man is taking notes. Player 212 finishes her shape and drops her lighter off with face tattoo. Face tattoo, old man, and Jihan all manage to complete their shapes. One contestant refuses to die and manages to take a pink eye hostage. The rest of the players who failed face the firing squad. The rebelling contestant makes his hostage unmasked and kills himself because the man is too ugly. The Phantom of the Opera agrees and shoots the unmasked dude. The detective gets a promotion. That concludes this episode. Thanks for watching Cinema Shorthand. Please subscribe for more content.